In his 20s, he wanted to be Glenn Campbell. In his later years, he actually got to perform with Glenn Campbell. Please welcome Jim Cathcart. In 1968, after a long, warm summer night motorcycle ride in Little Rock, Arkansas, I came back and I sat down and I wrote this song. I'm riding free, got the highway at my feet. No place to be and no schedules to meet. There's not a thing in this world to tie me down. The buses pass me by their destination on their face. No names on me, man, I'm not going just one place. I go where I want to be in any town. Nothing but my mood to guide me. I follow the road I like best. One week I may go to Mexico. The next I'm headed northwest. Two wheels below me, an open road ahead. Don't need much money cause I'm carrying my bed. I'll work one day for my bread and travel on. Nothing but my mood to guide me. I follow the road I like best. One week I may go to Ohio. The next I'm headed southwest. Don't put me down, man, I'm doing what I like. Yes, I'm happy when I'm out here on my bike. I'm seeing the world my own way. Come on along. 90 miles to Little Rock, my roots and memories. I'll pause, but new and winding roads are calling me. My goal's the ride, not the place. I'm riding free. My goal's the ride, not the place. I'm riding free. Thank you. That kind of picks up that Jack Kerouac era of, you know, just take off and hit the road kind of feeling. Well, I started picking up the guitar and playing a lot more often about five or six years ago, and I've started incorporating it with some of my speaking, but mostly I do it separately as, you know, like a gig at a, at a local nightclub. And Paula and I sing, my wife Paula and I sing together, and we've got some friends that join us, and we call the band Resume the Boom. Resume the economic boom. Resume the revitalization of the baby boom. And it's... The baby boomers are headed toward retirement. So many people are letting go. They seem to think achievement time is over. I'm here to tell them that it's time to grow. So resume the boom. It's time to call the roll again, resume the boom. We'll rock and roll to the very end, resume the boom. We still have our dream, sweetheart. Restart, resume the boom. For way too long, I've been headed toward the exit. For way too long, I've forgotten to be me. For too long now, I've looked for strength from others. When all along I had the strength in me, so resume the boom. I swear I'll never grow old again, resume the boom. We'll rock and roll to the very end, resume the boom. We still have our dream, sweetheart. We still have our dreams, while those without one are in paradise up above. Goal achievement is a thing we really love. We still have our dreams, sweetheart. Growing old takes no effort. It's really easy to 
swim downstream but you were put here to truly make a difference it all resumes when you begin to dream so resume the boom it's time to call the roll again resume the boom we'll rock and roll to the very end resume the boom we still have our dream sweetheart When we're playing those songs, we are revisiting all the old ones. You know, we'd be up there and I took my troubles down to Madam Ruth. You know that gypsy with the gold cap tooth. Well, she's got a pad down at 34th and Vine, selling little bottles of love potion number nine. We do them all. I mean, from the 50s through the 70s and so forth. And one day last year, my 11-year-old at the time, grandson, Jason, was over at the house. And it was around Thanksgiving time. And he and his dad came in, Jim Jr. They came in and they proudly announced, Jason wrote a song. Well, Jason's learning to play keyboard. And he found a little riff and he liked it. And, and his dad said, what's it about? And he said, uh, a bear. And so they started working on words and they brought it to me. It was about a third done, maybe a little more than that. And I said, well, let's finish it by tomorrow for Thanksgiving Day. And so we went back and forth on it, and then they kind of left me to my own devices, and I came up with a, a finished version of it. And I not only had it ready the next day, I recorded it and put it on my website on a music player, and I'd like to share it with you. Think Toy Story. Now, Jason's got a little sister named Amber that lives right across the hall from him. Her door's here, and it was that close to his door. Mom kissed her head as she tucked her in bed, supposedly safe for the night. She hugged her stuffed bear and she hadn't a care, wasn't prepared for the fight. When out of the dark came a host of strange sounds, toys came alive all at once. They all charged the bed, even hung overhead, threatening sounds broke the hush. The dolls attack from the front and the back, six princesses on the advance. Pony and Pooh turned menacing too, she felt she did not have a chance. When out of the closet, Hello Kitty attacked with Grover and Grinch by her side. She reached for the light, but no lamp was in sight. The darkness remained as she cried. We'll get her, Bear said, as the others he led. Against us she hasn't a hope. She's ours now, we've won, the battle is done. Somebody bring me a rope. Maybe Optimus Prime can save me in time. My brother's room is right next door. There's Woody and Buzz and soldiers inside. They'll save me and settle the score. She lunged for his door and then fell to the floor. It wouldn't unlock, though she tried. She felt all was lost, then a sound pierced the dark, came from right there by her side. Then everything stopped as they looked at her clock. The buzzing was from her alarm. The sunrise was here, and it was very clear. She would now be safe from harm. She rushed down the steps, now widely awake, Smelling Dad's coffee and Mommy's pancakes. She was safe and secure with no danger at all, but not quite as safe as you think. At the base of the stair sat the bear in a chair, and he quietly gave her a wink. Thank you.